We hereby express our sincerest condolences to Kamari's bereaved family, comrades, and friends, and share with them their grief over her demise and their joy over her great achievements in serving the Filipino people, joining them in the struggle for national and social liberation and championing human rights against violations committed during the Marcos fascist dictatorship and during the post-Marcos regimes. We are proud of having met and worked with Kamari soon after she went underground as a consequence of the martial law declaration by Marcos and the torture and martyrdom of her elder sister Liliosa, a student activist and journalist. We have always admired Kamari for having been a resolute and militant activist of Kabatang Makabayan and for having committed herself to the Filipino people's new democratic revolution since her youth. We knew her as a highly intelligent and hard-working cater with an ample sense of humor and with seriousness to inspire others in the work of training more caters and in arousing, organizing, and mobilizing the masses. In 1974, she was arrested and tortured and was detained for two years. She remained a steadfast revolutionary and she kept up the fighting spirit of her fellow political prisoners. When she was released from prison, she joined Kapisanan para sa pagpapalaya at amnestia ng mga detenidong politikal sa Pilipinas or kapatid and campaigned hard for the release of political prisoners including her detained husband. She excelled so much in the work of defending human rights victims that it became her focus for many decades and became the mentor of so many other defenders of human rights. After the Marcos fascist dictatorship was overthrown in 1986, she became one of the founders of the Samahan ng Ex-Detainees Laban sa Detencion at Para sa Amnestia or CELDA. She played a key role in the filing of the human rights case against Marcos and his accomplices who had fled to the U.S. She worked hard to collect and consolidate the data and bring together the lead plaintiffs in the class suit. Kamari helped a lot in putting on historical record the gross and systematic violations of human rights by the Marcos fascist dictatorship. Together, we won the human rights case against the Marcos estate in the 1990s. She worked for the enactment of Republic Act 10368 or the Human Rights Victims Reparation and Recognition Act of 2013. She initiated and led the formation of the campaign against the return of the Marcoses and martial law, karma, in 2016 in order to condemn and fight the lies being spread by the Marcos dynasty to revise history. She became the founding secretary general of Karapatan, Alliance for Advancement of People's Rights in 1995, and became its chairperson in 2009. She worked for the release of political prisoners and the dismissal of Trump up charges against those detained. She sought justice for victims of extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances and torture. We happily reunited with her every time she came to Europe to attend conferences and hearings on human rights, confer with human rights organizations, promote human rights advocacy, and seek solidarity and support for victims of human rights violations in the Philippines. She provided her expertise in the drafting of the Comprehensive Agreement on the Respect for Human Rights and International Humanitarian Law, or CARIL, of 1998 in the course of the GRP-NDFP peace negotiations. The achievements of Kamari in human rights work are monumental. They are well documented in legal records and accounts of human rights organizations. Moreover, she has mentored and trained so many human rights advocates and activists to carry on her brilliant legacy. She continues to inspire 
the protection and promotion of human rights in the current and further generations as the Filipino people continue their revolutionary struggle for national and social liberation against imperialism, feudalism, and bureaucrat capitalism. We must strive to keep her memory eternal and preserve her legacy of upholding, defending, and advancing human rights in accordance with the International Convention on Human Rights and CARIL. We must accord the highest honor and respect for her hard work, sacrifices, and achievements, and be inspired by her outstanding example and advance human rights comprehensively in the people's democratic revolution with a socialist perspective.